Hello, and welcome to Thirsty Thursday Toys, where I post nerdy drink recipes and toy reviews every Thursday, among other things. Today, I've got a Mothra Egg blended margarita for you. I don't normally make blended drinks because I get killer brain freeze, but luckily my wife is here and she loves blended margaritas, so that all works out. Thank you. Love you. You will need your blender, your measuring tool, and your blending cup container thing. You know how blenders work. Technically, we're making two margaritas today and just layering them together. For the first one, you'll need a shot and a half of gold tequila. Gold more for the color than for the flavor. One. Half shot of lime juice. One shot of orange juice. Half shot of triple sec. Half shot of simple syrup. And roughly eight ice cubes. For the other one, you'll want half a shot of tequila. I'm gonna use blue tequila simply for the color. Half shot of lime juice. Half shot of blue curacao. Half shot of simple syrup. And about six ice cubes. Take your first one, blend it up. Now you really want the layers to be distinct and not blend into each other, so if it seems a little thin, just blend some more ice into it. Take your second one, blend it up. Then I have this vaguely egg-shaped glass, and I'm just going to layer these back and forth until we fill it up. Ta-da! There is our margarita. I'm going to give this to my wife and do this shot myself. I have a couple of Mothra egg things for us today. Not a lot of Mothra egg stuff out there. I know X Plus has some amazing, incredibly detailed ones, but uh, I can't afford those right now. So these will have to do. We have the Hatching Mothra bottle cap and the Beast Shooter 1964 set. I know, and we also have a little kitten. I love you. This was one of the blind box bottle caps that came out back in 2001. Features mothra larvae hatching out of the egg. This figure is solid rubber, so it's kind of hefty. It features the same ridges as regular bottle caps, and it also has those ridges on the inside. And these are designed to go right over your regular bottle caps, and they attach really well and hold on tight. So you can unscrew your bottle cap and it stays on. And it works on just your average bottle cap for sodas or lime juice or what have you. It also works, let's see if it works on tequila. Oh yes it does, that's awesome. Okay, I think I know where you're gonna live. Nice paint on the egg for such a tiny thing. Then we have the 1964 Beast Shooter set from 2002. This is one of the expansion sets. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe the first figures in the Beast Shooter line were uh, Godzilla and Mechagodzilla. And they came with launchers, and there was also like a battlefield playmat. Unfortunately, I don't have any of those to test them out and see how far these can actually launch based on the launchers themselves, but we can take a look at these figures. As you can see, this retailed for 780 yen, which that's uh, definitely less than how much I paid for this now. And if I'm being really honest, I just bought it for the egg. So hopefully the rest of these are pretty cool. So in this set, you see we have Godzilla 1964, Mothra, Mothra Larva, and Egg. Info on the side about how to play, character bios on the back, and there's that Battlefield playmat. Underneath you have this image of Godzilla 64 and some other details. Here's some information on how they roll. It sounds like Mothra is a little different than the other ones. So let's check them out. There weren't any instructions inside, but there was this Konami Godzilla series campaign card. We have the plastic insert with all four of our, I was going to say four of our monsters, but three monsters and egg. All right, here are our kaiju. Start with Godzilla. So here we have very clearly the 1964 Godzilla. We've got those unmistakable brown eyebrows, spray on the spines, painted claws and toes. They even gave them a wash to add some nice detail to it. Got red in the mouth and individually painted teeth, and the eyes have seen better days. Has this bumper in the back where I assume the launcher hits it to send it flying. Has an arrow in case you don't know which way to face it, I guess. 
We've got this ball bearing underneath so it can roll in any direction, or you can see what you look like as an M.C. Escher piece. The egg is just an egg. It's just a plastic egg. No ball bearings, nothing. I'm not entirely sure how this plays into the Beast Shooter game. Maybe it's just an obstacle. Paint is, I mean, pretty sloppy. I might go in and touch this up. Mothra Larva has some great paint on this. Pretty nice. Blue eyes. Again, we've got that omnidirectional ball bearing and the bumper in the butt. Then we have the queen herself. Her paint and detail is incredible. And a nice wash to bring out those details, all this texturing in here. Now underneath, we still have the texturing, but we don't have any of the other details like the top of the wing, but that's fine. Metallic blue eyes, got some shorter antenna just because of the kind of super deformed look they got going on here. And unlike the others, this has this roller instead of a ball bearing, so it's unidirectional, so this one will head straight towards her target and not veer off. This is cast in rubber, so you can kind of flex the wings. This is pretty sweet. All right, so let's test out these ball bearings. Could also be this mat that I have it on, but this is pretty, pretty smooth. How about the larva? How about Mothra? Ooh, much better. Nice. And the egg. Okay, let's see if I can hit the egg. Cool. Please comment below if you know where I can get any other Mothra egg items. As always, thanks again for subscribing, good luck on your hunt, and please drink responsibly.